Alrighty, let's see now. We are graphing today. Graphing quadratic equations, which are nice U-shaped curves. And we are going to graph the function and determine how it's related to y equals x squared, which is the parent function for all quadratics. So let's get ourselves a function about y equals negative x squared plus 9. Now these are in vertex form, what we're going to be looking at today. Um, we could say y equals, which vertex form is a parentheses x minus h quantity squared plus k. So how is this related to y equals x squared? Well, because k is 9, see our a is negative 1, all right, and h is 0 because there's nothing in parentheses, k is 9, well, our a means we have a reflection in the x-axis, so it makes it open down, so reflection, in x-axis and the k-value what that's going to do is it means it shifts up 9 units up 9 units alright now every square is going to be 1 unit so this is 1 2 I have tick marks at every two units, so that way my eyes just don't go crazy looking at all these tiny squares. So what does that tell me? Well, our vertex is going to be at h comma k. So vertex is going to be at 0 comma 9. So if I go left to right, 0 up 9, there's 2, 4, 6, 8. Here is 9 right here. Right there is my vertex. It is also my y-intercept. Now I can make a table and pick values for x and get answers for y. Alright, well we already have the point 0, 9. That's our vertex. So I'm going to choose two numbers to the right and two to the left. So the first two to the right are 1 and 2. And the first two to the left are negative 1 and negative 2. All right, if I plugged in 1, negative, uh, 1 squared is 1. But this means, with this negative out front, since a is negative 1, a is multiplied times this. So negative 1 times 1 makes negative 1. Negative 1 plus 9 makes 8. So I have the point 1 comma 8. So if I move right one unit, I go up 8, which puts me right here. All right. And then I plug in 2. 2 squared is 4. Negative 1 times 4 gives me negative 4. Negative 4 plus 9 gives me 5. All right, now what's really nice, let me plot this. So 2, there's 2, 4, here's 5. What makes this really nice is these are symmetrical. So these two points are going to be mirror images of these two. Just to prove the point, plugging in negative 1, negative 1 squared is positive 1. Negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 9 makes 8. See, you notice it repeats. So at negative 1, I am at 8. All right, and then plugging in the negative 2, we should get 5. Negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 1 times 4 makes negative 4 plus 9 makes 5. And we did. So enough negative 2 up 5. All right, connect your dots to make that U-shaped curve.
Okay, remember these are a curve, so it's not a V. Uh, mine kind of looks a little V-ish. Nice curve. All right, and there we have that one. Now I'm going to do another one. Uh, let's see. F of X equals... Uh, let's say x minus 3 quantity squared. Okay. First thing we're going to do is identify a, h, and k. Now you're like, wait a minute, what is this? Well, f of x and y are the same thing. I could rewrite this as y equals x minus 3 quantity squared. Same thing. This just means that we have a function, and we're told it's a function. So we don't have to test to figure out if it is 1 or not. It is. Why? We were told. So it just is function notation. So the value of A is 1. There's no number out front, so it's 1. H, well, remember, negative H equals negative 3. So positive H will be positive 3. So H is 3. And K, there's no number out here, so K is 0. So how is this related to y equals x squared? It has been shifted to the right three units. So we just write right three units. That's how it's related. It's been shifted to the right three units. So why I move right one, two, three, I move up or down zero. How do I know? Because your vertex is always h comma k. So that means it's three comma zero. So that's why I put a dot at three zero. I am now going to make a table. We say x values and y values. Now, how do I know what numbers to plug in for x? I always start with my vertex. Since the x coordinate of my vertex is 3, I want two numbers to the right and two numbers to the left. So I always start with my vertex, so 3 comma 0. The next two numbers to the right are 4 and 5. The two numbers to the left, immediate left of 3 are 2 and 1. All right, it's not rocket science, but it is does have a logical sequence. Always start with your vertex, and then just do a couple points each side. All right, plug in 4. 4 take away 3 is 1. 1 squared is 1. So we have the point 4, comma 1. So 4 up 1 square, right there. Okay, now plug in 5. 5 take away 3 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So we have the point 5, comma 4. So there's 2 and 4. So, 5 and 4 right there. Awesome. All right, now when we plug in 2, we're going to get a repeat. So, 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. See, it repeated. All right, now since it's symmetrical, we know when we plug in 1, we are going to get 4. How do I know? 1 take away 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. Now let me plot those two points. So plotting 2, 1 right here. And then plotting 1, 4 right here. Now another way of getting a give me point when this is in standard form. Well, this isn't in standard form, but our we could always get our y-intercept by plugging in 0 for x anytime we need a y-intercept. So we would just say 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. So this is going to cross the y-axis at 9. So 2, 4, 6, 8. You see how this curves up real fast. All right. Um, we don't have to do any more. But on occasion, you might be asked your y-intercept. So that just means plug 0 in for x. 
All right, there is our U-shaped curve called a parabola. Alrighty, have fun graphing these. Bye-bye.